Hello everyone, welcome to Smash Pads Top 10 Games of 2016. Uh, and uh, let me see, we are on number 8. Uh, this one uh, surprisingly is a tied for 8th with uh, another game, Battlefield 1. You'll be able to see that video uh, same time this one's up. And uh, so this is Inside Play Dead's uh, a big reemergence after the original Limbo came out uh, quite a while ago. They've been working on this game ever since then. Put it out this past summer, and it is a hell of a game. Uh, very much in the same style, where you are moving left and right, uh, generally jumping and grabbing stuff. And that is, uh, while Limbo was very much kind of, I'm not going to say like one note, but very much, uh, they had pretty simple mechanics built the levels around them to extend them further. They've very much done that here, but they've polished it to great shine. The world is a lot bigger. It's not just a sort of flat 2D backgrounds. As you can see, there's stuff going on in the backgrounds here. Uh, something weird that's going on. And you can see some actual uh, depth to the world that is really, really well done. Uh, so you can see, like, the notion that these guys are out looking for maybe not specifically this kid but looking for people that are on the loose outside of their pods or whatever uh, let's see there we go sort of the notion that there is like this back into the side sort of stuff Or where you can grab onto the side of things. And you can alert these dudes in the background. It's not just like I am magically doing uh, something right. Or I'm magically just doing things the, uh, the right way without even trying. See, we got people here in the background. Oh, here we go. We got dogs coming. Let's see if I can escape. Yeah, we managed to do that. And very much like Limbo, there are horrific and graphic deaths should you take the wrong moves. Yeah, we're going to play this for a couple minutes. Uh, I had already beaten the game, so it just automatically started me up uh, at the beginning again. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a way to skip around. Uh, but this is probably the least spoiler way to sort of talk about the game. Um, yeah, this game's just done really well. And, uh... Very much, it is uh, awesome to see that see that these guys came back with a game that you could say is more limbo, but it's more polished, more fleshed out experience. The puzzles are more. I don't know if demanding is the right word. But, uh, the original Limbo was, uh, I'm not going to say simple or anything, but, like, at a certain point, it changed from, like, this really cool experience to kind of a standard puzzle platform. Oh. Yeah, shot there. I was supposed to wait. Uh, 
Um, it kind of turned into a, a standard puzzle platformer. Sort of just had levels with buzz saws moving around and such. Run, run, run. Dogs. And sort of in the vein of what you'd want out of this, uh, there are collectibles. And they're sort of their own puzzles. I gotta get back up. The controller's rumbling because he's out of breath. Uh, so yeah, there's something here. Yeah, this yellow cable. Let me go for breath once more, and I'll show you this. This is the first one that is in the game. I want to say the achievements are all like this. Or I'll just get these collectibles. That's how Limbo's was. Plus uh, a couple other things. Maybe I already got this achievement, so it's already unlocked. Uh, but essentially, it's like that little puzzle thing here. It's like, you can completely skip this. It doesn't add anything. But uh, it's just a really cool thing. And uh, I think we'll continue on. But yeah, definitely there is just a sense of atmosphere here. And it goes places. Are there points where it's kind of really haunting? I'm not going to say it's like a horror game or anything like that, but there are definitely moments where it starts to get to me in a way that you don't really expect. Uh, especially sort of this, the way this early stuff is where it's just this little boy that's being on the being chased by these mysterious guys and uh, their dogs. And uh, yeah, that's inside. It is our tied for our eighth uh, best game of the year. Uh, definitely check out Smash Pad for the full list and all the videos. There will be a playlist on YouTube with uh, more more of the videos. We're going to try and get videos for everything we can. I have most of it. Uh, there's a couple things that aren't going to be videos uh, just due to the nature of the platforms that they're on. Uh, and some of the other stuff is going to be up to other, the other people that have those games uh, is able to do videos. So stay tuned. Uh, should be mostly videos uh, for all of these games, and uh, yeah, we're excited to just see how everybody reacts to our choices. Oh, there's dead pigs all over the place. This isn't good. Uh, this is out on PS4, Xbox One, PC. I want to say it's 20 bucks by default. Oh, we got. And the door's not working. Immediately, there's a rope. And, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.